Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on Monday, uh, the end of day's trading, 20th of June 2016. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly download the uh, uh, latest uh, app, uh, which is called Trade Signaler from www.tradesignaler.com. Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the uh, app by the uh, Google Play Store and the Apple App Store as well. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly as to uh, what's happened today in the European markets. Certainly uh, nothing short of a uh, catastrophic short squeeze, uh, a magnanimous uh, short squeeze at that. Okay, uh, in terms of the uh, markets themselves and where they've closed, the uh, FTSE, uh, your DAX, CAC, impressive more than 3% rally in, uh, in equities. And the US market certainly following suit with this 1% at present. Uh, Euro a a Asian markets overnight, the Shanghai flat, so that certainly is a concern. And we had the Hang Seng and the, uh, the Nikkei high. In terms of oil commodities, certainly moving higher as well, in, uh, and uh, certainly helping this uh, potential risk on rally. Now, not everything was bullish. The bearish arguments, first of all. Imports, exports out of Japan, certainly weaker than expected, but apparently it was interpreted as being... Uh, bad news because good news and therefore means more QE uh, and that's basically what that was being interpreted as okay uh, in terms of uh, inflation data out of Germany certainly came in stronger than expected so therefore was help the uh, the actual uh, anti QE trade we also had the uh, monthly report out of Germany certainly forecasting second half weakness okay and that's of course a concern in terms of potential growth okay now in terms of higher inflation again that's a cause for concern as well and it certainly hurts growth to a large extent now we've had um, the uh, uh, additional data that we had in terms of bearish arguments today. Uh, we had the Nigerian peg uh, potentially being uh, being removed and a potential drop of 30% there. And now just talk about Saudi Arabia being next. We had political uncertainty in France and Italy. Okay, with Renzi instability. Okay, uh, we had Brexit concerns obviously still in the background with Mr. Osborne highlighting them as well and bringing them to the fore. Uh, EU construction data certainly came in weak. Bundesbank were hawkish. German inflation obviously hawkish, and growth obviously going slowing down with regards to German exports. So certainly uh, bearish arguments there in order for the market to uh, certainly uh, exert downward pressure and certainly looking for a risk off move. Now let's see where this market is from a technical perspective for you folks. Okay, let's bring up the chart of the uh, the German DAX first of all. Okay, as always, German DAX daily chart into fib 61 percent we do have an unfilled gap above which is at 10.090 but i'm not expecting that to close just yet certainly looking for this fib 61 percent to hold for now 60 minute chart after a 300 plus rally a 300 plus point rally you are looking at potential pause now and looking for weakness and for price action to certainly move lower here okay certainly expecting a weaker price action here on the 60 minute chart certainly overdone uh, the 10 minute chart at present uh, certainly has exhausted itself especially given the fact that the 60 minute chart you can see the inverted head and shoulders target was around 9900 we've certainly hit that now short squeeze is over and now looking to reverse in the opposite direction bring up a 10 minute chart okay so this is a 10 minute chart of the german dax and you can see here we failed to make higher highs as such making lower highs and now looking for a potential reversal we have the unfilled gap below at 9630 so that's all 300 points away and therefore you have a bearish bias okay so certainly take that on board okay in terms of the uh, the market itself okay so again german dax looking to be uh, weak and certainly looking for a pullback to potentially close that gap now the mdax itself you can certainly see here as well on the mdax if you take the pivot high take it to the pivot low and the MDAX after closing the gap certainly has thrusted higher but we are into that FIB 61% resistance previous support equals resistance too as well so therefore looking for a move lower in terms of the um, tech oil share again uh, certainly into previous support equals resistance is the zone okay looking for further resistance at the FIB 38% in terms of the NASDAQ I'll just cross-reference that as well if I can find it. I can't find it at the moment. I'll come on to that in a second. Okay, so in terms of the S&P 350, again, 60-minute chart is into resistance. 
daily chart is at that 61.75% resistance. So certainly looking for a move low, okay? In terms of the French CAC now, let's bring up the French CAC. Again, 10-minute chart, exhausted, okay? Certainly looking for a potential pullback and a move lower. 60-minute chart on the French CAC. Again, IHS target has been complete at 4325 region. And now looking for a short squeeze rally to end. And now looking for a move lower, okay? Certainly looking for a move higher. Now, uh, now looking for a move low, sorry, on the French CAC, okay? The daily chart on the French CAC at the moment. Let's just bring this up for you. The French CAC at the moment close the gap, certainly impressively close the gap, and now looking to consolidate here in terms of gains and then looking to potentially move lower with the unfilled gap below. So certainly a battle of the two gaps, but the main way, obviously, insight here really is a 10-minute chart, certainly exhausted, and 10-minute chart, certainly looking for a, a way down. It's the best way of interpreting that at present. Okay, in terms of the... Uh, FTSE 100 now, let's just bring up the daily chart, daily chart, potential topping tail down the daily chart, uh, held 50, 75% 75 resistance, <clears throat> going to a 60 minute chart, and you can see that we had a bearish engulfing candle here, okay, so certainly a bearish engulfing candle, and certainly in indicating resistance as well, this key zone, so previous support equals resistance and horizontal resistance, so again, FTSE 100 certainly uh, coming into key resistance here. Okay, so certainly looking to uh, hold that key resistance at 6237 and looking for a move lower. At the moment, you have a bear flag formation on the 60 minute chart. You're consolidating in that lower body and then obviously looking to potentially move lower. Okay, 10 minute chart of the uh, FTSE 100. Okay, so with FTSE 100 at the moment, you have a potential for a lower high. Okay, looking for a lower high here, and then looking to potentially retest these lows that we've seen today, which is around the 6130 zone. So again, looking for weakness here. Okay, looking for weakness on the FTSE 100. Now, in terms of the uh, production of oil, oil is an important cog here in, in this uh, potential jigsaw puzzle. And you can see the daily chart certainly is into resistance. And certain years of respecting the uh, the actual resistance zone, I'm looking for it to hold. Okay, so looking for that zone to certainly hold the price of oil. So if oil is into resistance, then you know that the uh, the market certainly will be embracing resistance as well. Okay, so oil uh, commodities from large to a large extent, currencies as well with the Aussie and the Kiwi, all certainly uh, hitting a potential wall. And we have US dollar obviously hitting a potential support zone. If I make the chart of the dollar index, and you can certainly see in the daily chart you're into support, and therefore dollar will go higher, equities lower, and you are going to see risk FX move lower as well. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% bonus offer. Goodbye.